Hello, my beautiful life brides. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Neon Noir. I'm a half Italian, half Canadian drag queen, and I am the brightest crane in the box. And if you are new here, or if you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So today we're doing something a little bit different. I found this video that's been suggested to me on my For You page about this Karen who is harassing these drag queens. So I thought, if I'm gonna watch it, let's do a little bit of a reaction video and give you my thoughts on the whole situation. So before we get into it, let's give you a little bit of a background. This happened in Hawaii about two weeks ago. Well, I don't know when this video is coming out, so let's just say two weeks ago. And this hotel was filming a promo video and hired some drag queens to be in the promo video where this one guest freaks out. Turns out this is not a regular guest. It turns out to be a member of Moms for Liberty. And so she went a full conservative on these queens. So let's look at the video. Let's find out what she said. Let's uh, give you my opinion on it. And let's see how the queens reacted to this not so great situation. I spent $3,000 to stay here. I'm not having my child see a man pretending to be a woman. This is completely offensive to me. I'm sorry, then you should leave? No, because I paid $3,000 I love when she says, I don't hate anybody, and then goes on to hate on these drag queens. It just is so, like, wrong. Um, it clearly goes to show that this woman is bonkers. And they like wearing makeup, and they like wearing drag. There's oh, lots of- wearing shorts and a tank top. Exactly. No, it's not. So this drag queen goes on to say, you're wearing shorts and a t-shirt, and that's drag. And she's right. So people assume that because I'm wearing all of this, this is drag. And it is. It is a very uh, exaggerated form of drag. But the way you leave the house is the way you present yourself. That is also drag. There's people that want to be a little bit more masculine. There's people that want to be a little bit more feminine. But every piece of clothing that you choose is drag. RuPaul said it best. You're born naked and the rest is drag. When you go to a Taylor Swift concert, you decide to dress one way as opposed to your everyday clothes. So you, you do change up your personality depending on the environment. And so do I. I go like this to be on stage, but I don't go like this uh, in my everyday life. And that's exactly what these performers are doing. They are there to perform a duty. They are there to perform. And therefore, that's why they are dressed up like that. It is part of their job. No, I paid $3,000. I'm not leaving the lobby. No, I want to talk to a manager. a manager. I want to know why this was allowed at this hotel. Okay, I'm a manager. I'm not. This is the lobby. I'm happy to be here. Okay. And the thing is, is like, she says, I want to talk to a manager and the manager is there. But then after that, she's just like, she's not necessarily talking to him. So that's also super strange. Like, if you want to talk to a manager, talk to the manager. Like, girl, what are you doing? I just want everyone to know what hotel we're at. Oh, this is Aloha Mani. I paid $3,000 so I can believe in biological reality. I am a real woman. You are fake. I know. So why are you doing this to women? It's so degrading. She goes on to tell this drag queen, I am a real woman. You are not. You are fake. Uh, and the drag queen says, yeah, I know. And that's the exact response because I or she is not trying to be a woman. We are just being entertainers. And this is entertainment. This is art. This is not trying to make fun of women in any way, shape, and form. If you think this is a woman, then you are joking. This is just somebody wearing makeup, just like you would wear, just like boys wear makeup in movies, just like Cirque du Soleil artists wear makeup on stage. It's the same thing. It is just done in maybe a little bit more effeminate way. Touch me. Call the police. I love that she's like, call the police. Do you think they're gonna go after the drag queen? No, they're not. You're the one who's making a scene. You're the one who's making a big deal out of this. You're the one who's going uh, over the top. They're gonna make sure you are calmed down, not them. They are doing nothing wrong. They are just existing their normal lives and you are the one harassing them. So she goes, because you're wearing high heels, just because you're wearing uh, wigs, wigs 
and high heels were invented for men. They were invented for nobility men back in the, I don't even know what year, like ages ago. And then through the course of time, we somehow established that high heels and makeup and wigs are were then turned into effeminate. I don't know when that happened. I don't know why that happened. I don't know why it's a problem that somebody chooses to wear these things and why you as an individual go out in this world. It's like me telling this woman, she cannot be wearing that tag top. She cannot be wearing those pants because those are men's clothing. When women wear those all the time, there is no such thing as gendered clothing. There is just what you choose and what you feel comfortable in. And obviously this woman has a problem with uh, drag performers. This is misogyny. How is this misogyny? Like I'm doing me and you're doing you. I ha I'm not talking to you. I'm not doing anything to you. So this is definitely not misogyny. You are turning it into a, something misogynistic. But again, it is not misogyny. No, I will leave the hotel. But I'm not going to have my children come down for the 30th floor and see what's happening here. What is happening here? Nothing is happening here. There is just somebody existing. I was doing a performance at a pizzeria and there was a child there uh, eating pizza. And that kid was just like staring at me in awe. And it was like a very wholesome moment. That kid didn't know any difference. For him, it was just like, look at this spectacle because that's what I was doing, putting on a show. Yeah, but this is completely degrading. But degrading for who? It's not degrading for, uh, for us as a performer. We choose to go like this. And I don't know why it's degrading to you because it has nothing to do with you. You just happen to be in our vicinity. I don't know what your names are because I'm, I'm gonna share this. Are you in the Are you a man pretending to be a woman? No, I am not. I am I'm not pretending to be anything. And I love that. That is the correct response. She is a drag performer who chooses to express herself in a more feminine way, but she is not pretending to be a woman. She's pretending to be a drag performer. If you do not know the difference, that is on you. Now, there are definitely women that can do drag. There's definitely men that can do drag. And there's drag kings, drag artists. There's different ways of doing drag. But to put us all together, you don't know that that is what this queen is sort of portraying. What do you think about my son who might think that he can put on makeup and put on fancy clothing and high heels? What do I think about your son who wants to put on makeup, put on uh, fancy clothes and high heels? Let him. Life is too short to be doing anything. Life is too short to not have fun. If you want to go put on a dress and makeup and high heels, you should let him. And if he has a mom like you that's not going to let him, then he's going to rebel even more and he's going to hate you for it. So I do not think that this is a problem. If just being in the vicinity of somebody doing that goes against your morals, then girl, you have a lot bigger problems because just seeing it isn't going to make you want to do it. Personally, I've been watching drag for like 10 years before I decided that I wanted to try it. And even if I wanted to try it, it was like a one off and then I got it a little bit more uh, particular. So, but that's also because I enjoyed it. I have friends that I put in drag who have done it that one time and then never again. It was a fun moment for them. So again, whether they are in drag or whether they just want to wear high needles, it doesn't matter. Let the person be who they want to be. So I think this woman is very confused because being a drag performer is not being a trans person. You could be a trans person and be a drag performer, and you can be a trans person and not be a drag performer, or you can not be a trans person and be a drag performer. That's how I identify. I am a cis male man who therefore chooses to do drag, but I am not trans. I'm not gonna pretend to be trans. I do not wanna chop off my penis. I do not wanna uh, take estrogen pills because that is not me. This to me is a costume very much like Stephanie turns into Lady Gaga. To me, this is a part of my stage persona so do not mix them up there's somebody who is trans is instinctively women inside of them and they just don't know how to express themselves outwardly um, but that is their everyday life and then there's being a drag queen which is a performance based art uh, which means that we put this on to get on stage I do not wear like this on everyday life I do not wear like this to go to anywhere unless it is for a stage or a show, a moment. It is a character I am building. Yeah, this is so degrading. I love that I'm going to be here. I don't know what I think we're going to go. She's dressed up like women. This is degrading. Oh, you're smiling. I am. Tell me what your name is, sir. Sorry, Tell me why you think it's okay to put on a clown costume and to do this to young children. I love what she's like. 
do this to young children when there is no young children around. And even if there was, she is doing nothing wrong. So again, does not matter. My God, this woman. I'm glad you want to talk to the police and they're going to tell you that it is absolutely right. There's nothing wrong with what this queen is doing. She is minding her own business. She got hired to do a promotion for this hotel and is not affecting anybody else. Just like an actor would get paid, this would drag performer is getting paid to be on camera. That's it. It's really that simple. Oof, y'all, and that was a hard to watch. It's a little bit unfortunate because this is the real life as a drag queen. You do encounter situations like that and you always have to be ready. So when people like sort of criticize drag, it definitely helped me personally build a thick skin because not everybody appreciates this or, or understands this. And this is clearly a, a, a case of that. They're trying to villainize drag queens and gay people and trans people because it's just not something that they know or want to know. I think it's very close-minded and I hope society doesn't move in that direction. I hope that uh, with more queer representation on television and in bars that people are able to become uh, more of themselves and hopefully some of these other people disappear. I am glad I don't live in the US. I think it's a little bit worse in the US compared to Europe uh, but whenever things happen in the US they somehow find their way to Europe. I would say keep that there let me live my life but at the same time uh, i'm always cautious and that's just the reality of the situation so on that note i'd like to know your thoughts what did you think of this video uh what did you think of my reaction did i help you in any way and more importantly is there anything else you'd like me to uh comment or watch because i like making these videos if you like watching them let me know in the comments below on that note my name is neon noir at miss neon noir on all social platforms and i hope to see you in one of my next videos Bye-bye.